Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is your Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September the 7th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Looks like summer is holding on as we head into September. There's a look at the Tuscaloosa Skycam from the Alpha Skycam Network at ABC 3340 and a few passing high clouds. Uh, not so many clouds visible as we look at the Fultondale Skycam. There's a look at the sounding from uh, actually from uh, yesterday morning, and you can see how it is very dry between about 900 millibars and about, uh, oh, about 500 millibars or so. The sounding from last night, not quite as dry, but still fairly dry, and especially when you get above 500 millibars. So it uh, looks like we're going to see a fairly dry weekend. The front that we've been watching uh, that came through and, and uh, helped to uh, bring some drier air into the area is beginning to wash out. Still, it looks like the best chances for any showers are going to be down along the Gulf Coast. In the upper atmosphere, the ridge is hanging tough, and it looks like that ridge is going to be the main player in our weather pattern for the upcoming week. Starting the day off, generally around the 70-degree mark for morning lows, and the watch warning map, very, very quiet this morning. QPF indicating very little precipitation over the southeastern U.S. Uh, looks like monsoons are starting down in there or going on down in the southwestern United States. And, of course, we can see that string of rain along the U.S.-Canadian border as the weather pattern remains pretty active up that way with the traveling weather systems. Storm Prediction Center outlooking a slight risk in parts of the Dakotas, uh, uh, I, um, Montana, and uh, Wyoming. And then there's a possibility of some isolated storms that could be marginally severe in the Great Lakes area. Uh, day two, the risk uh, is primarily in the Dakotas. Tropics have become a bit uh, more active, although we still haven't had a hurricane, despite the fact that we're in the climatologically most active period. And all of the disturbed areas being watched are basically not likely to develop into anything over the next several days. The 06C GFS model run, here's the uh, upper air pattern for this afternoon, and you can see the ridge in place, uh, primarily over uh, kind of the eastern slope of the Rockies. The ridge stays with us on, uh, on Sunday so that uh, we don't really see much in the way of change for us. We do note, though, the uh, strong uh, short wave coming into the northwestern part of the country. That short wave will move across nicely, and as it does, it nudges the ridge to the east. So it looks like Monday uh, we probably won't see much in the way of showers, but uh, daytime heating and just a slight amount of moisture means that we could see the possibility of some showers. We get out to Tuesday, and the ridge is uh, in place across the eastern part of the country. So once again, uh, daytime heating a possibility to generate a few showers, but they should be isolated. Wednesday, we begin to see the trough uh, become a little bit more of a player. The front is still well to our northwest, however, so that uh, it's not really going to be a factor for us. And with the atmosphere fairly dry, it still looks like the possibility of just an isolated shower or two. Um, by Thursday, the, the ridge is still there. The trough not uh, carving out uh, much in the way of uh, amplitude to the south. So once again, just isolated showers a possibility. The uh, trough does deepen, uh, sharpen up just a little bit, deepen up and uh, sharpen up a little bit on Friday. So uh, I think probably on Friday we see the possibility that that front might nudge down into the area. But the problem is it just doesn't seem to be a great deal of moisture for it to work on. So while we might see more in the way of scattered showers than isolated, certainly doesn't look like a great deal. By Saturday, a week from today, we do see that uh, the trough moves on out. We see another little trough moving across uh, the Dakota area. Uh, so once again, the possibility that uh, we may see some scattered, uh, isolated to scattered showers is there. And of course, we've been watching for that first big front. And uh, last weekend, we were looking at possibly, you know, for this week, but it doesn't look like it. Now it looks like the next possibility comes around the 20th of September, where we see a pretty sharp, uh, pretty strong trough being carved out in the central part of the country. And that would certainly usher in uh, an air mass change and give us a hint of fall. But again, this is out in voodoo country.
Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted uh, tomorrow morning. It may be a bit of an abbreviated one. Uh, I'm scheduled to be out at uh, Barber Motorsports for an event out there, and i uh, got to get out there at a fairly early hour, so uh, we'll do the best to, to have at least some sort of Weather Extreme video posted. In the meantime, I hope that your Saturday is a good one, and Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.